Hello friends, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually going to start today's vlog off by unboxing some sunglasses from Dima. From Dima Eyewear. It's upside down for y'all. Um, but they are a sunglasses brand. They reached out and wanted to send me a couple pairs. And so here they are. And I'm going to show you. I'm so excited. Both of these are so cute. So when you unbox them, you get your little sunglasses bag. And the sunglasses are in here, um, all protected with plastic. And this is like almost a rubbery material. It's like a soft plastic, actually. So here is the first pair. So this style is called Edith, and I have it in the cream tortoise color with the gray lens. And I love it. It's kind of like a, a squared off cat eye. And I love cat eye glasses. I've said this a gazillion times on my channel, but I feel like cat eye glasses on myself are just very flattering. I love these. They, they feel like very high fashion, very like, I don't know, New York. Like I should be walking the streets and like a cute little designer leather outfit or something. I have no idea, but they are so cute. I love this cream tortoise. I feel like most tortoise colors, at least the ones that I own, are more of like a warm brown, almost like a red color tortoise shell. Um, and these are like a cool toned cream and like a little bit gray and then the frames are gray and they're just really cute. Okay, and then the next pair, once again, we have a bag to put them in and they are packaged all nice for shipping. They're in this plastic, in a bag, in their like satin bag, in a box, in another box. So shipping is like, they're very, very um, like protective when it comes to shipping. Oh, and I love these. Okay, see this is more of like what I think of when I think of tortoise shell, more like this color. And they're very similar to the other ones. These ones are more slim but they're very like angular like the other pair. And this is the style Gleam in the um, amber tortoise with the brown lens. So I like tortoise shell as well, I guess. Um, but I especially love like this cat eye, but like the other pair, they're like very structured, very angular. They look very like high fashion. I love them. I think they're so cute. So I will leave links to both of these down in the um, description below. Like I said, the brand is Dima Eyewear. You can shop DimaEyewear.com. They have so many different styles. I just tend to gravitate towards, you know, the like more cat eye type of style. That's my favorite. All of my sunglasses kind of look the same after a while. It's pretty much all my sunglasses are like more of a cat eye style or heart shaped. Those are my two favorite, favorite ones. But I love that these two are both kind of different because they are more angular, more like kind of squared off. Um, and just really, really cute. So thank you to Dima Eyewear for sending these over to me. And let's get on to the rest of today's vlog. Hello friends, it is still Christmas day, but I wanted to share my drink in my new little wine tumbler. I put half a lemon, half a slice of lemon, um, two maraschino cherries, and I'm gonna put this black cherry, clear American, just for like a fancy little, non-alcoholic, non-caffeinated drink. Look how cute! Okay, I've got lab kids in the back, but I wanted to quickly share. My husband got these Celsius for himself, um, but since I'm not drinking caffeine right now, let me show you what he got for me. I got myself some clear Americans just as like a treat for Christmas, and he got me a bunch. And I'm gonna try to drink them before New Year's because I actually don't love, like, like they make me really bloated and I don't love that but they're still like a really nice treat and they have zero caffeine. He also did return, if you saw my last vlog, he did return that pre-workout he got me because he forgot that I'm off caffeine right now. And if you've been watching my vlogs, I'm sure you're so sick of me saying that over and over and over again. But apple, Fuji, wild cherry, white grape. This is like one of my favorites. Strawberry, peach, and pineapple coconut. And yeah, it was just like a really sweet gesture. He got himself drinks, so he got me some drinks as well. Hello friends, it is the day after Christmas. It's December 26th. 
It's 1140 at night, so almost midnight. But I just finished taking down all of the Christmas decoration. All that's left, my Barbie tree. This is where my Barbie tree was, it's gone. All that's left is changing out this magnet for I think Valentine's Day is the next one. Um, but normally I leave up my Christmas decorations till after New Year's, but we are going to be out of town for New Year's. We're going to Albuquerque. And I just, I knew like if we come home after New Year's and I still have Christmas decoration everywhere, I would get so stressed because you know, you come home from vacation and immediately you have to unpack, you have laundry to do, you have to get groceries, plus like starting to get the kids back on like the school routine and stuff. And I just knew it would be so stressful to come home and immediately feel like I need to take all my decorations down. So. I did it before. It does make me a little sad though, because I, like, I still feel like it's so, it's way too early to be taking down Christmas decorations. Um, but I know that when I come home from vacation, I will be so glad that they are down and I don't have to do it then when I have a bunch of other stuff going on. Anyways, so that is what I did this evening. Normally after the kids go to bed, I spend a couple hours reading and I switched out my reading time for taking down decorations time. I did listen to my audiobook though, so that's a plus. But yeah, that's a little update on what's going on over here. Hi friends, I just woke up from a power nap, so my hair's a little frizzy. But we went to the mall earlier today. If you saw my last video, my husband got me a perfume for Christmas that I already own. He got me this one, the Aria Grande Cloud, which I do love, but after a while, it gets kind of sickly sweet, so I don't use it a whole lot. Um, but I did change it out for another Ariana Grande perfume. Um, so I got this one. I think this one's just Ari. Yeah, Ari by Ariana Grande. So I can smell it through the box. It smells so good. Ariana Grande perfumes are like top tier, you know? So look how cute this is. It has a little puff ball on it. It almost looks like those like old school perfumes that you like pull on the thing, but it's actually just a little keychain. You can take it off. I'm not gonna do it right now. It's too hard with my nails because it's like, it's more like a necklace clasp. Um, and here it is. Really, really pretty. And so switched out the cloud perfume for this one. And honestly, I do like this one better than the cloud perfume. I also feel like I mentioned in the other video, my, my last video, I feel like the cloud perfume is more youthful. It's more for like a teenage wearer. Um, whereas I feel like this one is definitely more my age, you know, love that. I'm going to put it back in the box just for now. Cause like, I'm not ready to get rid of the box. Do you ever get a gift? I do this with like makeup items that like I've been really like, I love and I've been anticipating is I don't want to get rid of the box right away. So, there it is. Ah, and she's just so gorgeous. So there's that. And then we also went to Target because I needed pantyhose. Um, because there's a dress that I want to wear for New Year's. And I just like every time I imagine the outfit I want to wear, I just feel like it looks better with like some pantyhose on. Just to like make my legs look, I don't know, not so white. And I don't have like plain regular pantyhose. All my like stockings are white or black or fishnets. Uh, and then while we were at Target, I saw this at Target Dollar Spot. And I have been wanting a tiered tray like this forever just for doing like cute little things, cute little dinner ideas and snack ideas for the kids. So this is part of their Valentine's Day stuff at the Target Dollar Spot. It's just a two tiered tray. Um has a little heart because it's part of the Valentine stuff and then gold detailing and white plates. And I just thought that was so cute. And then there's the setup. So, so excited I found this. Um, but that's it for now. I actually need to start packing for our trip because we leave tomorrow and I have not packed anything. I need to pack and charge all the kids electronics. So that is it for now. Okay, one last thing. I think I can share these because they're for a sponsored TikTok and the TikTok should be up right now. But I got these shoes from Charm Ivy. And they are these, like, what are these? Are these mules? I'm really... 
not great with shoe styles, but they're like loafers, but they're slide on ones. How cute are they? Pointed toe and like animal print. And so I'm going to pair them on vacation with this. If you see my TikTok, I, I'm going to post like an outfit of the day featuring these shoes for the sponsorship. This is like a little behind the scenes, I guess. That would be really cute, don't you think? And like a black tank top underneath. Love it. And here's just another little thing of the logo, Charm Ivy. I think they're so cute. Okay, friends. So I haven't like officially decorated for Valentine's Day yet, but I wanted to show you how cute this is. And I think I am going to leave it up as part of Valentine's decor. Um, but I put up the tear trade that I got yesterday. It's so cute. I'm so in love. It's a very small one, but it's so cute, especially for like doing like appetizers for a party or you could add it on the end of a charcuterie board i think i'm gonna do like snacks when we get back i'm gonna do like a little snack tray with it for my kiddos and then i put this teapot right here because i always decorate for valentine's day with that since it's red but it looks like a little you know tea party setup because we usually use um tear trade for tea parties and they just go together so nicely especially for valentine's day Okay, friends, here's a New Year's Eve Eve outfit of the day. These layered earrings. Normal necklaces, this little red number. And I'm going to put these shoes on after I'm done driving. But matching the shoes for... I hate that I get the toilet in the background. Matching the red shoes for a red dress. It kind of like ties right here. It's really cute. Yeah. I also added this sweater and pantyhose just for now. Well, the sweater just for now, but look at what's on the inside of the pantyhose thing. So they're the ones I just got from Target. Style that goes wherever you do. How cute is that? I wanna like tack it to my wall or I don't know, put it on a vision board or something. It's just cute. Hello friends and happy new year's eve here's today's outfit of the day same earrings and necklaces as yesterday i'm wearing this velvet dress um it has like the belt loops they're kind of tied tight um there's a bow i tied it i put them like loops through the belt loop and then tied it in the back um so i just think it's cuter that way i feel like when the bow is up here it's just too much because there's so much going on with the puffy sleeves the crushed velvet the lines there's like this layered right here. Um, and it's just too much to have also a bow in front. So I tied the bow in the back. Um, pantyhose. I'll show you the shoes in a second. They're black shoes and then I also have a black bow. Um, my husband calls this hairstyle the Cersei Lannister hair. When I just pin a couple pieces back. But black bow to match the black shoes. And then pantyhose and these black shoes. And that is it for today's outfit. Okay, friends, we just got back from New Mexico. I'm gonna do like a, a more of a what I got for Christmas haul probably tomorrow because I like to be do like sit down and show um, the more beauty products. But here's the things that are like for the whole family. Um, so we got so many chocolates. Actually, this one is for me. My stepsisters got me this one. This Terry's dark chocolate orange, which my kids got the regular chocolate oranges in their stockings. And I got the dark chocolate and they know me well because dark chocolate is my favorite. Um, so that one is for me, but then these are like for the whole family. I'll put a clip of like when we when I first opened this because we've eaten so much of it. But these Merci um, chocolates for my aunt and uncle. These were just like, we had these. Um, my nanny brought them over on New Year's Eve and my mom sent them home with me. These are so good. These were like my favorite treat the whole trip. 
these candy cane like white chocolate covered pretzels so good like i said they were my favorite treat the whole trip um my mom also sent us home with these hot chocolate bombs i don't know if they just like didn't like them or just don't use them um but they're from sam's club and so i think we'll do this with the kids this week because they still have a few more days until school starts um and then my stepmom did this um i'll explain it how she did it later but for new year's eve she did like a raffle and then i also had those christmas crackers i shared last vlog and so it was a really fun night for the kids but my daughter won um some hot cocoa bombs as part of her raffle and so we have even more these ones are um little ones i think they're from dollar tree i think i've seen this brand at dollar tree um, and then she also got this in her raffle, which I'm so jealous. Well, I got like a bath set, so I guess I'm not that jealous. But how pretty. Flowers and butterflies, so I'm going to help her hang that later. The other kids got um, toys and candy and stuff um, and coloring books. And so they've already dug into theirs, but because she's waiting for me to hang hers up, I can actually show you guys what she got. But she got a little calendar. That's such a good item. Um, this was in my stocking. This is another one that's just for me. But my mother-in-law and my mom both did stockings for me. Mommy. So this was in my stocking for my mother-in-law. And then these were in my stocking for my mom. It was a stocking for me, but also there were a few things in there to share with everybody. So these, because we're family of six, so everybody gets one. My girls all got these Elsa dolls for my mother-in-law. And they came with this like glitter hair gel. So I'm going to put this somewhere safe in my bathroom. But I just wanted to share because how fun is that? You can put it in your own hair or in the doll's hair. Um, so I'm going to put it somewhere safe so they don't like get it everywhere. But I just think it is so cool. And then also my mom just sent me home with this big bag of assorted candies. I'm going to pick out all of the Lindor, the Lindt Lindor ones for myself though and hide them. And then I'll share the rest with the kids. The girls also got these great big Disney store bags. This one's a little dirty. I'm going to have to wipe that off. I think it's caramel from all the candy we've been getting. But how cute are these? I'm also going to keep these. These are going to be perfect for um, like when the kids have snack days at soccer to bring the snacks in. Don't you love how like my kids get something and I'm like already planning on how I'm going to use it, even though it's for them. Speaking of which, the kids also got one of these elf dolls in the stockings for my mother-in-law. So like we have three girls and one boy. And I'm gonna put them with the Christmas decor and use them for Christmas decor next year. Cause how cute would these be? Especially like hanging inside of our wreath. They would be so cute hanging inside of our wreath. And then um, my husband got this little thing as part of his little raffle. And then these were another thing that like my mom put, my mom and stepmom put in my stocking. Again, one of the things, something that's like for the whole family, decorate ornaments. I think I'm gonna put these with the Christmas stuff for next year and save it as an activity for next year. And then these are just stockings for my mother-in-law. How cute is this gnome? I love the gnome ones. And we have some of these cat ones already. I think this is our only gnome though. It's so cute. Okay, I think that is it for now. And then tomorrow I'll film like more of the beauty stuff that I personally got for Christmas. This is just like, like I said, all of the family stuff. Hello friends. Okay, so as promised, here's my like part two of what I got for Christmas. First off, I'm having a smoothie right now. It's strawberries, bananas, oatmeal, and protein powder, and also a little bit of PB2 powder. It's a cookies and cream protein powder, which I don't think is very good, but it's all we have. So I added a little PB2 powder to kind of like get rid of the cookies and cream taste and give it a peanut butter taste. Anyways, it's really good. So that's like my breakfast. Um, But happy new year. Today is January 3rd. It's the first full day that we've been back from vacation. So I'm really considering this like day one of New Year's resolutions and stuff. My main New Year's resolution is to become a morning person. It was like back in April when I first started like my fitness stuff um, and eating healthy and that whole journey that I've been on. Um, I was really good at getting up early and staying up throughout the day and then summer happened. And my kids weren't in school anymore and they were sleeping in so I was sleeping in and I just could never get back on that good habit. And I'm trying not to beat myself up too much over it because I've created so many other good habits this year, but I really want to become more of a morning person, um, not go back to bed after I get my big kids off to school 
And so today was like day one of that and I already, it's, I said that's my breakfast, it's actually like 11 a.m. I need to like get up, have breakfast early. And so that's what I'm going to be working on for this new year. I actually saw a thing that was like, um, it was like, cause I follow a lot of like witchy TikTok pages and um, it said, well, the, the woman said, um, this is like a false new year that we've created during winter time. It's a time that like we are meant to rest and relax and plan. And then springtime is for taking action. And I feel like because last year it was April 1st where I started my fitness stuff. And so I feel like that really applied to me last year. So I'm also not putting like crazy pressure on myself as of right now, but I really would like to become more of a morning person. Um, but that's really it because like I said, 2023 was like a really good year for me. I created so many good habits and so really I'm just trying to continue those good habits. Um, but now to the second part of what I got for Christmas. First off, my mother-in-law got me this coach bag. I love it. I love the colors of this one. This is the coach bag that my husband got me last year and go, don't get me wrong, beautiful bag, but the colors on this one are just like not for me. This burnt orange isn't something I personally would have picked. And also like the way that this bag is, I don't know if I've like really mentioned this on the channel, but I complain to him about it all the time. This side is a magnet, this side is a clasp, and then there's like a small zippered pocket in the middle. But when I have stuff in these pockets, which the zippered pocket doesn't fit things like my wallet and stuff. Um, when I have things in these pockets, I always feel like I'm going to, it's gonna get stolen. And so I do like this bag, but those are like my complaints about it. And this one is just so much more me, you know? Like this, the dark brown and the black is like, I can match that to more outfits. It zips up at the top. So I'm not like going out with anxiety, worrying it's gonna get stolen. And it's just a really, really cute bag. So love that. And then some like other things. Uh, this one I'm going to use right now, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm really bad at like using setting spray. Like I just can never seem to get in the habit. I always forget that step. But maybe since it's Charlotte Tilbury and I love Charlotte Tilbury, I'll be more into it. Oh, but here's the bottle. Ooh, it smells really good. It's very light. You know how some spreading setting sprays just like hit you in the face? I also, since I am not using a whole lot of powder, I do powder my under eyes just so like my mascara doesn't transfer on my cream concealer. I wonder if it really works if it's cream products and they don't always dry down, you know what I mean? Um, so there's that. And then some things that I got in like stockings, um, some Dove deodorant, Dove body wash. I'll put this right here on my chair right now. Winter Candy Apple Bath and Body Works lotion, which I've gotten before. It's one of my favorites. Big pink loofah i always call this a loofah it says loofah right here my dad and i always argue because he says these are not loofahs i've always called them loofahs though um and then this hair mask sauce beauty deep moisture hair mask and then mm, i also got this in my stocking but i put some goodies inside first off my sister um, i'll put a close-up of me wearing these but it gave me these like little amethyst bead earrings. They're so cute. It's like three different shades, like a light purple, a clear and a dark purple. And then she made me, I think this is actually my favorite present the whole time, like all of Christmas. She made me this amethyst bookmark. Amethyst is my favorite stone. It's also my worst stone. And I was literally thinking how I needed a bookmark. And actually when I was, when I was shopping on Shein, I was looking for bookmarks and I just couldn't find anything that I loved. And so this is just so perfect for when I am reading and I can't wait to use it. And it's so beautiful and just totally like my aesthetic, you know? And then my stepmom took my daughter shopping to this like rocks and minerals place. Um, and they, well, my daughter picked out this 
amethyst keychain. And again, I love amethyst. It's my favorite. And then if you saw my last video, my mom also got me an amethyst bracelet for Christmas. So it's just my favorite. And then my stepsister got these for me and all my kids. I put them all together because um, they just, we have like a big drawer um, where we put all of our hair accessories. But she said that these are like really popular in Japan and they're like these little flower and mushroom and sprout hair clips. And you just like put them in your hair. Um, my mom was saying kind of like little antennas because I was trying to figure out how to style them. They probably wouldn't work with the hairstyle I have on right now. Like when my hair is down or if I have like pigtails or something. Um, and so I really like the sprout ones. And then she also gave me, because she got them for me and all my kids. Um, she gave me the pink mushroom. And then also this white flower, which is really pretty. And so those three were mine. And then I think she just like gave everybody three. Um, and so that's gonna be so fun to play around with and learn how to style. And there's just so many. There's some that are like flowers, butterflies. Um, and they're so cute and like colorful and fun. And I love it. And those would also be really fun for like cosplaying or um, like a Renaissance fair if you're going as like some sort of fairy type of creature. They're just so much fun. Um, and then I mentioned that I'll explain this later, um, but on New Year's Eve, my stepmom did like a raffle. I'm gonna try to explain to you how she did it because it was a way for like everybody wins something because um, there were like a lot of little kids there, mostly my little kids there. Um, like everyone drew a number out of a hat and then she would like bring the present to the front, pull another number and whoever had that number won that present and they were all wrapped. You didn't know what it was until you unwrapped it. Everybody got something and then at the end you could trade. So it wasn't a like white elephant where you um, steal them because that could also, you know, upset little, little kids. And it just, it worked out really well. So if you have like toddlers, it was a great way to do that. And then plus we had the Christmas crackers and the kids just had lots of fun. So this is what I want in that, um, is this Dr. Teal's bath set. And I absolutely was not gonna trade it, but um, we've got some lavender and chamomile, um, Epsom salt, some melatonin sleep bath oil. Is it bath oil? Essential oil blend, foaming bath with Epsom salt, bath, bubble bath maybe, um, melatonin sleep blend, body wash, melatonin sleep blend. This is a body oil and then this is a lotion. So um, it comes with five different products and I'm so excited to use all of them. And then not a Christmas present, but when we were there, I did pick up these makeup removing wipes at Walmart. I, I think I've tried like all of these Equate makeup removing wipes now. The sensitive ones are my favorite. They don't have the, um, the lavender and especially the rose. The scents are just like, they're too much. They're too strong, especially the rose. It makes me like sick when I use them. Um, but this one, the scent is like really light. Um, it says no oil perfumes or dyes. It does have like a, a slight scent to them though. I guess maybe it's just like a natural scent, but these are my favorite. There's also the blue ones, which I think are their regular original ones. I still like these best. And then some things my husband got because I think they're fun. And also I do know that I have like male viewers because I can see it in my analytics. Um, but when I got my makeup wipes, he picked these up. They have like all kinds of these Marvel Dr. Squatch soaps. Um, these were the best smelling ones. I think the Iron Man one is the best. And then they had the other ones too, but these two were the best. Iron Man is my favorite though. And then my sister-in-law also got him these from Bath & Body Works. The Mahogany Teakwood Body um, Soap and Body Spray. And these smell so good. If you are a man or you have a man in your life, definitely get them the Mahogany Teakwood. They smell so, so, so good. Um, I definitely recommend. Okay, so I think that is it for my, like what I got for Christmas. So now, since it is the end of December, let's talk about December books. Um, 
So in December, I read 13 books. It was the most books I had read in a month of the entire year. I, I honestly, I don't know how, because I feel like December was so busy. Maybe it, I was reading shorter books. No, because not all of these are very short, but I did also listen to a lot of audiobooks. That's probably it because, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff around the house, decorating, cooking, all of that, cleaning. Um, and I li listen to audiobooks when I do all that. So I'm gonna guess that was it. Um, but I read 13 books in December and in 2023, I read 88 books total. I personally don't make book goals for myself. Last year I read 183 books. So I read a lot less books than last year. But this year I also started working out, you know? And so when I'm creating new hobbies and new habits, they kind of take place during some of my reading time. You know what I mean? So I'm not upset about it. I personally don't create book goals or reading goals because I read books to enjoy them. And I feel like if I made a goal for how many books I need to read, I wouldn't enjoy it anymore. I'd be rushing to finish books instead of actually enjoying the books. Um, so that's just my personal opinion because I saw a lot of people like have book, book goals as their New Year's resolution and that just does not sound good to me. Like reading is meant to be enjoyed, not to rush through, just my two cents. Um, so the books that I did read, I read Haunting, Haunting Adeline, Hunting Adeline, and Satan's Affair. I enjoyed Haunting Adeline. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite book of all time. Um, it gets so much hype and I really, I did enjoy it, but I don't necessarily think it's worth the hype it gets. It is a dark romance, um, but it was good. Um, Hunting Adeline, however, was awful. I hated it. Definitely read the trigger warnings for that one. I thought it was so bad. Um, and then Satan's Affair is about Sibby, who is a character in the other books. She's featured in the other books. And um, it does kind of like fill in some of the blanks for like things that happen in those books. And then you also like learn a little bit more about Sibby. Um, and so I did enjoy Satan's Affair. It's just a really quick read. I definitely liked it better than Hunting Adeline. I thought Hunting Adeline was so awful. Next. I listened to the audiobook, The Endless War. This is um, the Bridge Kingdom series. It's the fourth book in the Bridge Kingdom series. I read, well, I listened to on Audible the first three Bridge Kingdom books two years ago. And I, this book was like such an anticipated release for me. Um, every few months I would check to see like when it was coming out and I couldn't find any information about the release date for this book. And then randomly I get on Audible and it's in my suggested. And I was like, when did they release this? Like just a few months before I had checked to see like if there's any updates on the book, if there's a release date, um, I couldn't find anything. So I listened to this. The Bridge Kingdom is like the first two books are one couple. And then the second two books are a different couple. And I actually like the couple, I'm, I've already forgotten names but I like the couple in the second two books better. Actually, I just enjoy the second two books better. Um, the Endless War and the one before this was In an Adequate Air. Um, and I think they are the better two of the four books, uh, but they're all good. And I was just so happy to see that it had finally released. And so that was, it, it was a good one. It met all expectations. Um, I was really happy with it, especially the ending. The ending was so good. Um, and then I read Gold by Raven Kennedy, which is the fourth, no, fifth book of the Plated Prisoner series. This is another one that I have been anticipating this release date for so long. I, um, Plated Prisoner series is one of my favorite book series. It's so good. Gold was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. And the next one is going to be called Goldfinch. And I think it comes out in 2024. I believe that's what I read. So I'm really, really looking forward to that one. And then I listened to two like super quick Christmas audiobooks. I think they were both Audible exclusive, um, but they were like included if you have like the Audible Unlimited. Um, and they're very like Hallmark Christmas movie, but book version. And they're only like two to three hours long. Um, and so they were just like super quick listens, which is probably how I got my like book my 13 books for this month but the first was how to lose a guy before christmas and it was like your typical cheesy rom-com i didn't love it but it wasn't bad but the christmas star 
was so good. It was so cute. I love books when like you know, you as the reader or listener know something that the main character doesn't know and you're just like waiting for them to find out. Um, I love that like anticipation in books and so this book had that. Um, and then A Holly Jolly Mess by Sam Ness Costa. I've actually read this before because she had released these like short stories on her Patreon. Um, and then she compiled them and released them as a book. So this was a reread for me. I do think she changed some things up though. So there were some parts that like I didn't completely remember or like she added some things because I, I there were things going on that I didn't remember. But it was still really, really good. I read everything by Sam Ness Costa. She's one of my favorite indie authors. And then two Colleen Hoover books. The first was Hopeless. Um, earlier this year, I read Finding Cinderella because it was one of those books that was included on the Stuff Your Kindle Day. Um, and as I'm reading it, I'm, I was realizing that I there was a, another book I needed to read before that one. And that one was just a novella. And so the book you need to read is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I read Hopeless. It was good, but not my favorite Colleen Hoover book. There's another one that's like because this one is from like the female protagonist's perspective, there's another version in the male protagonist's perspective. And I don't plan on reading that one anytime soon just because I I liked it but didn't love it. I don't know. But then I listened to Layla by Colleen Hoover and it was amazing. It's my second favorite Colleen Hoover book, I think. Um, it's kind of like a ghost story. Um, Verity is my first favorite Colleen Hoover book. I love Verity. I loved Layla and then I feel like every other Colleen Hoover book I just kind of like. I also think the Colleen Hoover, like I personally enjoy the Colleen Hoover audiobooks more than reading her books. Like her books are like, uh, I don't know how to describe this, like maybe kind of tedious to read, whereas the audiobooks are like more enjoyable to listen to, but that could also just be because they, most of them use like the same like actor, voice actor. And the, the male voice actor who did Layla, I know he's done some of her other books and he's just, he's a really good voice actor for audiobooks. So um, I think that's a, a big reason why I just enjoy the audiobooks better. If you have a good voice actor, audiobooks are always um, more enjoyable. And then I listened to The Stolen Era by Holly Black. I love Holly Black's books. Um, this was like, a spin-off from the Cruel Prince series and this is about the little brother Oak but it's told from the perspective of like his love interest um, and I also really really enjoyed this one but I, I did enjoy the Cruel Prince series better. This was still really good though. It also has that kind of like enemies to lovers right now. Oh I don't want to spoil it. Spoiler alert! It goes like enemies to lovers to enemies. Um, and it ends like that and then the second book is supposed to come out I think in February so that's another one that I'm um looking forward to and I just again Holly Black is another one that I love her books and then I read a series of unfortunate events the very first one there are so many like kid books that I really want to read um either because like a series of unfortunate events I read most of them when I was in middle school I but I don't think I read all of them um so when I was at my um mom's house my stepmom had the first book so I read it and I read it in like less than two hours it is a kid's book it's a chapter book but it is a kid's book um and it's just a super quick read and it's still like really good some kids books that are like made for kids are just really really good they have really good stories a series of unfortunate events is another one is one of those um other books that I like want to read, mostly because I'm like interested in the fandom, are the Narnia books. I never read those when I was growing up. I know my sisters did. And the Percy Jackson books, especially because like the um, the TV show just released. And so I see so many people talking about it on TikTok. And I want to understand what they're talking about because they're always comparing the books to the show. And so I really want to read those also. I also want to read more of A Series of Unfortunate Events. My stepmom only had the first book. So that's when I read and like I said I read it in less than two hours and then the last book that I read is Toxic by Nicole Blanchard um I follow the tick the book talk baddies Facebook page and um they were talking about this book and it sounded very intriguing um so I went ahead it's on Kindle Unlimited I went ahead and read it and I did not enjoy it 
the beginning, like the beginning was good. The, it had so much potential. And then the rest of the book was just like a lot was happening and a lot was happening really fast. It just like, it was, it was too much for one book. It was like all these things are happening, but there wasn't like any depth to it. Um, I don't know how to, how else to describe it, but I did not enjoy it. It wasn't the worst book that I read this month. Like I said, Hunting Adeline was. I hated Hunting Adeline, but it still just wasn't my favorite read. So those are the books that I finished the year off with. And I think that is going to be it for today's vlog as well. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what your, if you are a reader, let me know what your favorite books are of 2023 down in the comments below. And that's gonna be it. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye friends.